Shalom, Israel. Shalom. All prayers and honor and glory goes to Yahweh, Wah Yahweh Shah, the Wada Yahweh Shemel Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who deserve double honors, rightfully so. Right, Shalom to Yaakim, pushing the word in sincerity and in truth and being faith based. Okay, um, got a couple of scriptures because uh, I'm still not letting up on Esau, all right? You so called white people, I ain't letting up. Because you got too much to pay for. And we ain't following the congregation of Nate. Okay? We are Great Millstone. Alright? And this is the Great Millstone is the house of David. Okay? Whether you like it or not. Okay? And um, we're going to stick to the scriptures, Lord willing. It'll be edified to the whole for elect. And um, uh, basically, you know. Uh, had a couple of things here that, yeah, <laughs> we're just gonna, you know, we're gonna give you, we're gonna show you things you need to be paying for, okay? Because you are the wicked, okay? Even though the Lord set you up to do what you did, you know, but the Lord's gonna bring you down as well, okay? All right. We want to clarify these things. We don't want to. We don't want to sugarcoat nothing. We ain't gonna be PC. We ain't gonna be politically correct. Okay. Uh, well, we're gonna be able to find to the whole full length. Got a couple of scriptures. All right, we're gonna start off with um, Proverbs chapter chapter sixteen, verse four. The Lord has made all things for Himself. Right. You know, the Lord made, the Lord made everything, all right? He made good, he made evil, all right? So he made these, these, these so-called white people, all right? And, and for that, he's the one that, that ordained for these things to happen to us, okay? But, you forward the affliction, all right? It was a time... And the Lord told you you're supposed to let us go, and you still you're still in your hands, okay? But all uh, right, but the Lord Yahweh Shem Al Shah, He's the reason why we're in your hands, all right? The Lord have made all things for Himself, for Himself. Yea, even the wicked. Who's the wicked? You damn Edomites, all right? Yeah, you damn, you so cool. You so cool. Uh, so called um, white people. Right. Plain and simple. Alright, All right. you so called Edomites. Alright. Alright. There's no way of going around it. You ain't sugar coating nothing. Oh, it's a lot. I'm looking for the special look. <laughs> I want to clarify the look. No? You Edomites. Alright? You Caucasians. Alright, you cave brothers. You. You the number one enemy of, of, of the Lord. Alright? What makes you the number one enemy enemy? You did this. Alright? No other nation that ru that rule the earth decide to put their put their own image to clarify that they run the earth. Only you. Okay? This is what you did. Alright? And the scriptures clarifies everything. And it's so bad that um the Lord's, the Lord's people, for following you, gotta, gotta be put to death. Alright? Slotty. The Lord has made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked, for the day of evil. Alright, we got a day of evil coming. Alright? Alright, uh, basically, this is, one, this is one of the evil things that's coming. The word evil means bad times. Alright? Right? Do the studies of our apostles and uh, telling us to, to work and work and, and, and plow to do labor. That's how we know the meaning of words. Okay? Right, this is evil. Alright? Right. Doing this was evil. Alright? That was a bad time for us. Slavery was a bad time. Alright? Uh. 
Here's another one. All right. This right here is evil. All right. All right. Y'all got these Baja clubs going on. Uh, let's see here. You got uh, my, um, microchip parties going on. Via via a chip, via chip, um, which is the size of a uh, grain of rice. All right. And here's something else that's gonna be seriously some some evil that's coming. The word evil means bad time. All right. Martial law, concentration camps, the dollar collapsing. All right, that's going to lead you to the microchip. All right, that's why all this stuff is happening. Nothing is happening. It's not, it's not a coincidence. All right, this is serious business. All right, this is leading up ushering in the kingdom. But before we get the kingdom, blood got to shed. All right, plain and simple. All right, uh, got a couple of more scriptures. I look probably like two more scriptures. I'm gonna go, gonna, um, uh, we're just going to bring it home with them. All right, Lord willing, it was that fine because uh, I mean that's all evidence, man. The wicked, who the wicked is, all right. What the wicked things people do, all right. Uh, another wicked thing is homosexuality, all right. Yeah, you, uh, you, you um spreading your plague of lesbianism, bestiality. That's wicked. All right, it's evil. That that right there, yeah, yeah uh, that's a that's there's no way around that around that. Alright, that's some evil shit right there. Some wicked evil shit. Alright. Alright, we're gonna bring it home with the scriptures, Lord willing. Um you know, I don't wanna curse you damn devils out because they say don't curse you out. Don't curse out the Edomites. It's so whole white man. I don't wanna hear that shit. It's too much to it's too much stuff to do right now. Alright? We gotta do this to to to, to for honorable death or for or honorable salvation. All right, not not a not a not a get together. All right, let's read in a couple more. Let's read. Uh, um, all right, just read these two scriptures and bring it home. This is Job chapter twenty one verse thirty. That the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. All right, plain and simple. That's plain. All right, day of destruction. The wicked, you reserved. You got a, you got a reservation <laughs> for missiles. All right, we got plenty of scriptures to play. Just explain who's who and what's what. All right, all right, plenty of scriptures. But we try to make this short as quick. All right, quick to the point. All right, that the day that we, that the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. All right, they should be brought forth. To the day of wrath, all right. That wrath is going to be no thermal nuclear fire, all right. Thermal nuclear fire, all right. Thermal America, America being melted, all right. Okay, being brought down low. Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. There's too much, too much evidence, Nate. Nate, there's too much evidence, Nate. Are you out of your mind? All right. That, it's a lot of it. Job chapter 21 verse 30. That the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. They should be brought forth to the day of wrath. All right. That's what's, that's what's up. All right. That's what we're looking for. Looking for the kingdom, looking for salvation. Here's salvation right here. Huh? Simultaneously, as these missiles are being dropped, the chariot to the Lord is going to be lifting up the whole four light, the 144,000. Okay? Simultaneously. Laser beams, missiles, bloodshed, death. Huh? And at the same time, salvation. That's, that's, that's some beautiful stuff right there, man. Huh? All right, uh, one more scripture. Let's bring this home. All right, this is Romans chapter nine, verse twenty-two. If, what if God willing to show His wrath and to make His power known, all right, 
he done that, all right? All right, he put, he, and he, um, he, he put the Egyptians in, in a power seat, all right? Um, that's showing his power. Um, he put, he put, he put you Edomites in the power seat, all right? That's showing his power, all right? And he want to show his power in a different way now, all right? He want to bring you out, he want to pull you out the seat, okay? What if God willing you to show his wrath, all right? And his wrath was put upon, uh, upon his people, his people, you know? But he's going to show you his wrath. Right? He's going to put it on you. All right? He's going to bring you down low. He's going to bust you up. All right? Okay? What if God wanted to show his wrath and to make his power known, endure with much long suffering? Because he, <laughs> you know, when he had put the, the Egyptians over us for those, for those 400 years, 430 years, and we was in slavery, bondage, well, 400 years, right? And, and we was going through it, hell, that was hell. Hell was a condition, slavery, right? Um, same thing when he did to us here. I mean, for all these things that happened to people, to the apple of his eye, you know, there's no way in hell that, that, that he's not gonna, he's not gonna show you the same, the same measurement or double. As the scriptures say, according to the scriptures, double. Alright? What if God wanted to show his wrath to make his power known? Endure with long with much long suffering. The wrath the vessel of wrath fitteth to destruction. That's you, you know, it's two vessels. One vessel, let's see something here. Alright, let's see. Let's get into uh um, go uh alright, let's go to verse twenty one. All right, Romans chapter nine verse twenty one. Have not God have not the pot of power over the clay? Yes, He does. All right, just how just how He made He just like a little kid when playing with play He He could do what He want, make it, and then destroy it. Have not the pot of power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor? And another unto dishonor. You Edomites. <laughs> I keep losing my signs. Slob here. <laughs> you damn Edomites. Look at you Edomites. You damn devils. You damn devil. Alright. You the vessel of dishonor. Okay. But he showed his power to you. He, he rose you up. And he gave you a seat. And you still didn't do righteous. This goes all the way back to Cain. Alright? He did the same thing with Cain. Gave Cain opportunity, but Cain didn't do the right thing. So that's how you got the same spirit. Alright? Alright, um. Okay. Let's go back to verse 22, because, uh. Rome, no, Romans chapter 9, verse 22. What if God willing to show his wrath? Alright? To make one. To, and, and to make his power known, endure with with much long suffering. The Lord, He let you do. He let you dig your hole. It, it hurt him more to see his people like that. But 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 the, you know, children, uh, you know, children, Negro Hispanics and Native Americans didn't do the right thing. So the Lord had to put the beats on them. Okay, what what if God was willing was willing to show His wrath to make His power known, endure with much long suffering? The vessel of dishonor, Salakia. The the vessel of wrath fitteth to destruction. That's you, you Edomites. You fit to destruction. You ass boss, man. Plain and simple. Huh? Okay. Quick, to the point. Lord willing, I was out of fine to the home for let. Y'all watching me? I shot Rakata. Death to America. All right. Shalom to the apostles and great millstone who deserve the, the honors. And shalom to all you, I can push the word of sincerity and the truth. Alright? Shalom.